but I think that I'm live here and what I'm doing is an unboxing, a live unboxing of some uh, fish, a variety of fish that I've recently ordered from Dan's Fish. And uh, some of these are fish I've wanted for a while but didn't have the space for and so forth. So that's what we're doing. And the reason I'm doing it live is because I have several, many videos in the can that I can't get out of my app that I use to make videos with and I'm working on that so I don't want this one to get stuck as well. So I've taken the liberty of scratching out Dan, Dan's street address. I had a couple of people jerk about that before. Uh, mine's there if you want to send money and candy. I always love to receive it. Uh, I can't see the stream the way the phone's positioned here so I apologize for that in advance. Um, and I do see that there are some people here, so thank you very much. Looks like we've got one like and 10 people, so that's awesome. Uh, I did go ahead and cut this open, so be quiet, and let's see what we have here. Um, and this, per usual, this is a wreck here. I'm trying to do this on my stove. Uh, that Dan does an excellent, excellent. He's a legend as far as his packing, anybody that's got fish from him. These are both warm. These were shipped yesterday afternoon, uh, overnight shipping. Um, and there are a few fish in here, <laughs> you can see. So I think there were 18 in total, and uh, I think five different species. So I'm just gonna start pulling those out. And, uh, oh my goodness, this is the Bells, Bells, oh, I can't pronounce it. Balzan, Zanji, <laughs> Balzini, I think that's how it's pronounced. But anyway, it's uh, the last he had of uh, this geophagus, and I have not kept this species before, so he'll be kind of the Lone Ranger uh, with my other different uh, geophagus. So he looks great, uh, and that's a good sign. Uh, he's a little bigger than I thought he would be, so that's awesome. This is the um, Acara or the um, Threadfin Acara, sorry, also known as the Heclei. Um, and I did order uh, four, I think, of these. I'm not sure, three or four. So we'll see. So far, everything looks great in here. Uh, it's a little bit bigger bag, a little bit bigger fish. They all look awesome. Another uh, Threadfin Acara or Geophagus Heclei. Another one. I think that's three now. Well, I know that the uh, two adults that I have are going to be really happy to see these guys. There's four, 15 people in here. Awesome. Thank you, guys. Try not to, try not, oh, that's a joke. Try not to be boring. When have I ever made a video that wasn't boring? I'm trying to move along, and then I'll get them in the tank. Ooh, this says uh, extra. It's a rosy. Bitterling, settle down, settle down. Now I have bitterlings in with my Fajaca, and they're about twice this size, so I'll, I'll check into this. Thank you, Dan. Awesome, that's a nice surprise. I don't know if he knew I kept bitterlings, but uh, there's one of the glow tetras. I've got a school of these that I got from Rachel, I guess coming up on two years ago. And uh, for the money that you pay for these guys and the longevity that they live and how their ease of care. Uh, this is a Chiathid, and I know I'm murdering these names, but this is one of the orange fin um, Danios, the striped Danios, zebra Danios. Uh, I've got some help over here with cats that I don't need. And that was a new thermometer that she knocked off. Uh, so that's an extra. Uh, that's a Kilo cichlid. Ah, oh, how cute. I've got a male that uh, has been by himself for probably over a year, and people have been commenting he looks so lonely in that 180, and he does. So I've gotten uh, four more of those guys uh, to put with him. Well, I guess five, because he says there's an extra there. There's another one of the uh, Chopra Danios, the Glow Danios. Guys, for your, the money for these guys, they're usually four or five dollars in the store. I think Dan has them a little cheaper. I'm 
may have body melt on those. We're halfway through this. There's another one of the Kai, Kai yeah, the Danios that have the uh, orange fins. Uh, those guys are going to go together. There's another one of the Glow Chopra Danio. There, of course, they're all going together. Dang, this is a lot of bags with the extras in here, Dan. There's another. Wow, that's a big girl there. She's full of eggs. Another one of those Kyanthus, the Zebra Danios. Hang back, Dharma. There's another. So far, we're uh, whatever for whatever, Dan. Everybody's swimming. There's a smaller one, a little smaller, but adult. I'm excited. Dharma, just a minute, just a minute. Let me get a couple more bags. Uh, another one of the Kehoe Cichlids. Kio cichlids are some really sweet little cichlids. They stay small and they're one of the old cichlids we used to keep. Um, so if you've never had those, try them out. It's another little Kiho cichlid. And they're called Kihos because it kind of looks like they have like one of the old fashioned Kiho uh, emblems or pictures on their sides. It's another one of the Danios. The Danio, that one's colored up. Look at that. Wow. I'm assuming you guys can see these. 22 people in here. Thank you. All right. And that's another one of the uh, Kyanthus, one of the Danios. All right. Now, how to do all this live and get these in the, uh, get these in something that we can see. Let me show you. Dharma, I hope I moved fast enough for you. Hey, Recon, I can see now. <laughs> this is what I've got. So let me stop this, I guess. Which ones is that, Sean? Who are you talking about, Sean? I can see now, guys. I can talk. Chattanooga Ed was just just texting me and I asked him to stop so I could do this about um, getting a gimbal and uh, he was going to get one and he asked if I he wanted if I wanted one too oh yeah oh well you know Dan everything's going to be fine so candy now what a nice thing to say Candy. A lot of them are going, uh, the small fish are going in with, um, hey Biz, uh, a lot of them are going in with uh, rainbows and with the uh, same kinds that they already have. And, uh, but the keyholes and the um, geophagus are going in the 180. It was a girl that said the live uh, live stream I did the other night for three hours. There was a girl that said a young lady that said, "Sorry, but isn't that a lot of fish or too many fish?" And so I explained to her no, why it wasn't, and that I could actually have. Uh, oh, okay, Sean. Okay, I thought you were talking about these guys. Uh, so I explained to her how it was double filtered and the double substrate and all the beneficial bacteria and all the live rock and on and on and on and blah blah blah. And so I said, and I have to ask, uh, I said, in fact, it's understocked. Uh, and I said, I have to ask, what made you think that? And she, she said, well, I guess it just looks like a lot of fish. So, but I'm glad I took the time to explain to her and, and tell her why it was stocked the way it was and, and how I stocked it and uh, what kept the fish uh, from being overstocked. and. I know several of you are asking me uh, in that stream, what's next, what else are you going to add in there? So I don't think anybody, a couple people said it's a lot of fish, but not implying. Yeah, for, it, definitely. Thank you, Brandon. Yeah, they definitely changed the rules. Um, I like my small tanks, but I know Candy, yeah, Candy uh, gets new fish all the time, and I wonder where they go. Yeah, Candy. Yeah. I shared some, uh, I think, 
people that know us well know that I shared some peacock gudgeons with with Candy recently and I know that her tanks are all full but I didn't judge her about it so Dharma don't step on the fish oh they're getting along great uh, fish dreams thanks yeah lol yeah got all these fish fish junk things still from the weekend to, to put away look at these cats Uh, yeah, they're getting along great, and he's still in uh, like fifth or sixth gear. Uh, it's going all over the place. As long as these guys are okay, I'll walk in there a second. But uh, if you guys want to, do you want to see the puffer for a minute? You love me so funny. Aren't your tanks full, Candy? What do I feed my saltwater puffers? That's a great channel right there, BTW, guys, if you like... Uh, discus and puffers and really cool fish that's a great channel right there and a really knowledgeable fish keeper um what do i feed my saltwater puffers i feed them the same thing i, fe I feed my freshwater puffers uh, basically they get giant krill oh see see no they aren't you can send me more i wonder sometimes if the reason we don't see videos and pictures at candies hey scott is because uh, I'm also trying to do some laundry, so, you know, it's like, I do live here, so. If Bob's tank gets full, he'll just get another tank. Oh, God, I don't know where. We still have this bacteria bloom in here after a, that water change was Saturday. Hey, Derek. So, in the shadows, the dark areas are from wood that I'm trying to, sink down so let's see the algae is even worse than it was uh, there he is he still likes that that uh oh no the the wave makers detached and blowing in the sand oh no no big deal it's just move the sand around a little bit but they don't have their usual current they do have those three hang on bags but i'll reattach that um, gosh, I have a chair. Let's see here. Sorry. Yeah, I do need a gimbal, you think? Uh, okay, there's Linus that was victimized. And you can see he's back to his normal color with his lines. And he's the dog face. And uh, then over there is the... Have you seen... Uh, the fugu that's what i did a live stream yeah you were in here the other night i think or was it the um the live stream yesterday with the lizard i don't know but yeah the fugu is up there in the corner and i don't think he spotted me yet he sees those other fish once he sees me he makes himself available there he comes. Maybe he's really colored up nicely too. BTW. You seen a Fugu before or had one? I was asking Steamfod and he thought he had um, in his local store that closed down, but he wasn't sure. They're not rare, but they're just not common either. There's Pam, howdy, howdy. Pam, this is the mystery of the detached wave maker. Now I'm doing an unboxing and people are asking about the puffers, so they're fine. All doing fine. I really, really like these tomatoes because they almost have two stripes on them. And they're supposed to have one. That's, that one has two. I'm like 91%, I've said 91.8%. Rough numbers, Bob, just rough numbers, please. Thank you, Candy. Hey guys, my playlist did come up. It did come up uh, quite a bit uh, in the last week or so, so I don't know. I was getting a little discouraged there thinking I was never gonna get those watch hours, but um, you guys are moving it, that's for sure.
trying to see who's in here. Is Fisher and Fever here? Zen Ginger, Alex, Cole, Bobo. I can't believe Cole called me Bobo. Bobo. It's Bobo. I don't know, Matthew. Oh God, I'm scrolling down. I timed Candy out the other night, guys. Made her a mod and timed her out in one fell swoop. And people have been asking me to time her out again just for old time's sake. I did, didn't I, Candy? People don't believe that. Well, they will believe it. Hey, Jesse. Hey, Ro. Oh, he, uh, James must have had you all do a, uh, duh. Had you do a, uh, what? Oh, was he streaming? Oops. Was James streaming? Apparently he was if he's sending people over here with hashtag FRF. Oh well. Oh well. He's my bud, he'll forgive me. He'll forgive me. That's why I went from 20 to 36. Whoops. I just wanted to get the fish out. I've been volunteering all day today, and uh, as he does, um, uh, Dan uh, messaged me and said, how are the fish? I see the fish are there, how are they? Uh, which is kind of a backdoor reminder that, hey, fool, the fish are on your front porch. But they came at after one, sometime after one, and I got out of the ark a little after five today. Uh, and it was in the low 60s, uh, and you saw the heat packs. My uh, temp gun is uh, still askew, so that's why I didn't feel them, but all the bags felt toasty and all that. Yeah, I appreciate it. When I started seeing the hashtag Fisher and Fever, it finally dawned on me that you must be live streaming or must have been live streaming, but I just started this vid up wanting to get this unboxing done. James, I can't get my videos out of my app. I've got all the stuff from Knoxville. I mean, I've got vids for two weeks. Uh, my chihuahua with the, the bird, you know, everything. I can't get anything to come out of here, so I don't know what I'm going to do. So I didn't want to get another video stuck in there. Thus the live stream. But I did not check to see. I didn't think anybody had a scheduled live stream this time. This wasn't a scheduled one, was it? I try to be mindful of that. I know we have some coming up shortly. But it's getting you live. Yeah. That's my only way unless I just want them to archive. Hey, Melvin, great to have you in here. So who was supposed to be live streaming and you took their spot, James? Transfer your video with your phone's charging cable to your computer, then upload them from there. I've heard tell of stuff like that before. You like those, Chewy. If you had a tank, I couldn't get them to you, could I? Can't get them up there to you in Canada. Yeah, those mistakes have kind of morphed into like three different uh, versions uh, and I like them all, so I'm not sure which ones I want to. Six o'clock, so who usually goes at six? Thank you, William. What experiment is that? I heard some talk about wanting one of those magentas, but then I didn't hear anything else. Yeah, and I got a mod in there. What time is it now, guys? Oh, right there it is, 641. Uh, I gotta cut those fish out of the bags and get them uh, 
Actually, I may float them for a few minutes. Uh, yeah, beta time stories. I ran out of room in my kitchen and breakfast room and bedroom and bathroom, so I've came on over to the middle of the house, and it's not a beautiful, I mean, it's just a, a, a what do you call it, ranch-style house, so this is the middle part of it, but, um, I never came in here, and I thought, heck, I'm gonna start moving some of these big things in there. AK-4752 wants a shout-out really bad. You have a channel, AK? You have a channel? Well, obviously you do. Do you have any videos, AK? All right. I bet if you are really nice, one of these mods will post a link to it. I bet you they'll do it. Are they fish videos? All right. Well, where's a mod when you need a mod? Saltwater. Oh, yeah, we need to see that. Thank you, Recon. Mosquito just bit me on the hand in the house. Nice. Yeah, I think I'm sub to him is why now it bit me on the forehead is how he's seeing me go out. Sorry guys, but this mosquito's ferocious. I hope I got him. I know he got me. Yeah. They can overwinter winter in a house, and you know, it's not that cold down here. It was in the low 60s, like I said, and, and they can actually overwinter in a garage or something, but I've got one in here that looks like a young hummingbird, and I've tried to kill it for two or three days, but it always gets another meal. Darn Skeeters, you better believe it. I wish it would get over near that tank. I wish it would. Candy sent it. She's probably trying to see what I got in my tanks that I don't show. That's my guess. Hey, Diva. Candy, you're in trouble. How would, how could he get you in trouble? Sean, were you at Knoxville? At the meetup? Rockford. Rockford, you guys check out his unboxing from Dan just a couple hours ago. Um, he got some of the long fin quarries that Dan ordered for him. And uh, I think Dan still has like a dozen left, but I, I said on the, uh, on the on the unboxing that I would have got some of those in this order had I known what they look like. Now there's a picture up of them. I have those long fins, but every time they spawn, they uh, never hatch. They are, and they're young, so their fins are uh, not fully developed, but they've got those long dorsal fins that sweep back. Thank you, Candy. 48 watching, Tuesday evening. Well, I'm going to, how come Candy's not hollering more likes, please? Get it to 50. See, I'm noticing these little things. Java Moss and what? Uh, hold on, let me see that. Oh, well, thank you, Candy. We only need eight for YouTube to consider this a video worth sharing around or suggesting or whatever. A couple of people have algae blooms right now, or not algae blooms, uh, bacteria blooms, and so I'm following Hey, redfish, bluefish. 
um, that water changes are what everybody seems to just continue to do. Hey, Angie. We only need one more. Will it be you? Will it be you? Oh man, where's that mosquito when I need one more like? There's a lot of wood in there. Got wood floating, creating the shadows that those guys are lurking in. Got wood down there, got big rocks. Got 52 now, it looks like. 51, 51, that's awesome. You guys are really, really, really too good to me. Everybody but Candy. Is Susan on? Yeah, she's coming up. Let me get over there too. And I'll be cutting those fish out of their bags while whilst um, trying to watch her. So I even had my fan set up in here to blow on me. Here's my dog food I need to put away. Oops, no bags in the floor. So this is what I've got redfish, bluefish to put away. Uh, 20 something bags. All right guys, I'm headed over to Susan's and oh, why don't we raid her? Let's do a hashtag to her because there's 52 people here. Uh, yeah, there are a couple kinds of geophagus and some uh, orange fandanios and some gorgeous chopro danios, keyhole cichlids. I think that's it. I need a hashtag, guys. Thank you, Candy. Fish Rich Bob. I don't, well, we can copy that and paste it, can't we? That'll work. All right, so hashtag fish rich Bob. And blame that on Cole. See you guys over there. Thanks, everybody. And thanks, mods, too, especially. Thanks for the likes. All right, cats, let's get busy here. Oh, dear God. <laughs> 